So this video was finished like a week ago, but I ended up like, you know, what I was going to do was like do like a full game run in one go, but it didn't really work out and I was just going to continue it later. But then I was like, what's the point of doing that? If it, it's still not a full game run thing then. So I decided that I would just leave this video as is. I know, here's some content that I made like a week ago. Okay, hopefully this goes well. I've just spent a while testing the audio and trying to get a good setup, and I've discovered a good setup. I can charge this and this at, th at the same time as me recording the video. It's amazing. And then I also have this in case something falls. Anyway, I'm going to be trying to speedrun the full Mario Odyssey for the first time. Now, although it seems like I've only done, like, three Get to Metro Kingdom speedruns, I've actually done, like, 15. I just haven't recorded all of them, and the ones that I have recorded, I haven't uploaded all of them. But recently, I've been, like, getting back into it, and my best record, which was achieved yesterday as of recording this, I think, I got a 35-something. 35-47. But that's just getting to Metro Kingdom, not finishing the full game. Now, when I started doing runs, I was getting times that were about an hour. And then I tried doing a get from Metro Kingdom to Ruined Kingdom one. And that one was also about an hour. Uh, I think it was a bit longer. And I think it's the longest I've spent recording in one go for a video. But maybe that's going to change this time. Because I'll be trying to do a full game speed run. Now, I think I've only ever done that once, but I might have done it a second time and completely forgotten. But I don't actually know for sure, so we'll just say that I haven't, like, sped run that part for a year and a half. I tried getting from Ruined Kingdom to beating the game once. It took, like, 38 minutes, and, like, half of the run was just Moon Cave Skip. I actually looked up a tutorial mid-run and eventually gave up and just did Moon Cave. It's a funny story. Anyway, I think I'd, I could improve that a lot. I don't know about how much I could improve the get from Metro to Ruined one, since I haven't been, like, practicing that or anything. Anyway, I'm better at, like, Moon Cave Skip and stuff now. I hope this goes well. Hopefully I don't get bored and give up on this video. How did that even happen? The first and last ones are the same, but not the middle one. Anyway, let's just get started. I don't really know what else to say other than I did some estimates and I think this is going to take around an hour and a half, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to try it and hope it goes well. Now, another thing is that I have three goals. So goal number one is to just beat the game and like not get bored. Goal number two is to get from Metro to Ruined Kingdom in less than an hour. And goal number three is to just beat the game in less than two hours. Anyway, let's just get into this. All right, so here's the one where I got that time today. Note yesterday. Now I time things a bit differently than other people. Mine starts when Mario starts moving horizontally. So instead of like, you know, like including that cutscene and stuff, I start it when Mario starts moving horizontally. So like, you can like jump and stuff and it doesn't count, but there. Okay, three minutes into the video is what I need to remember. Also, the way that this is over three minutes of edited footage, yet I'm only just three minutes into the unedited footage is because I ended the recording a few times before the actual run started. Now, the most common places for me to just give up on a run are Klepto Skip in Lost Kingdom, but that one doesn't seem to happen that much. One that does seem to happen a lot is me messing up some tiny amount in, like, the first, like, two minutes, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to restart the run. So far, stuff's going good, though. Oh, I did it. Okay. Now, I have learnt to do left side here. badly. I'm going pretty fast. Usually I end up here at around 130, but I got here at about 126, so that means this is good. Although I forgot about that, 
so that means this is not good. Watching me just miss it over and over is just triggering me. So I hit the wrong one. I knew which one it was, I just missed. So yeah, that's kind of bad though. I don't really care, it just gives me more stuff to improve on if I do this again. I'm not allowed to take any breaks during this. Well, I guess I could just pause the game and the timer. Although, you know, that would be kind of annoying. It also means I won't complete goal one. There's some mysterious crumbs on the floor in here. I'll try not to talk about stuff that much unless it, like, matters because then I get to cut out more stuff. And, you know, if I'm going to be recording for, like, an hour and a half, then, you know, being able to cut out a bunch of stuff is good. Hopefully this recording saves. That's the other thing I'm kind of concerned about. So I might actually end the recording and then start it up again just to make sure it saves. Ooh, that was really good. I hit it at around 311. I, hang on, if I got there at 3, 311, then that means that that's actually not good. Yeah, because of all that time I've lost on the topper fight for not hitting him. I was about to say that I usually get here at like 320. But the thing is, on my record, I think I got there, but the thing hit the ground at like three minutes. All right, hopefully I get first try dino skip. Now something that I've learned recently that I wasn't doing for a long time, and I think it's part of why I kept failing it over and over, is that you shouldn't run. Running with the dinosaur is fine, but running while you're going over the platform, it means that you're more likely to miss, it was just like not activated or whatever, I think, even though it doesn't seem like it should be that way. I don't know, it's confusing, but it seems to be true. I hit the rock! What? What? Hopefully I get the moon before like five minutes into this. I think I'm on pretty good pace right now. This is about what I usually get. Usually if a run makes it to this point, the only thing that's going to stop it is klepto skip, possibly. But I found a good setup for it. I'll talk about that more when I get there. Is the brightness too bright? Yep. Okay, hopefully that's good. <laughs> Luigi, can you help me out with this run? Luigi, how dare you? You're going in the corner. I always do that. Now, something here. When Cappy's talking to you, you should ignore everything that he says with B instead of A. So then it spends less time loading up the action guide. Something I found out recently. I usually take like the same route when I do this now. Uh, though there is a new thing that I'm going to test out with this run. And that's going for slots instead of top of a dune. Because I'm more likely to get it first try. And also it's closer to the Luigi. So I can get some coins from that. There. Now, I will be skipping the bird here, but that's because I have a reliable way to get it again later. Well, not again, but basically, if I take the path that I usually do, then by the time I end up at the oasis, the bird will be there. I discovered a lot of these things by accident, by the way. Now, in my Get to Metro Kingdom speedrun, there's two shop moons that I usually get, being the one in Wooded Kingdom, and the one in Lost Kingdom. There. Get the Luigi, doesn't matter that I'm closer to the right side, it's actually a bit better, maybe. There, so that's 200 coins for those two shop moons. I'm gonna skip the checkpoint since I don't need it. And if I do need it for something, this run probably isn't worth continuing. That's a meme! <laughs> that was slow. I missed, though it's fine. Almost 10 minutes into the run. All right, come on. All right, come on. There. Now this thing's kinda hard, and sometimes I miss it. I've been getting it more consistently recently. Before I would consistently miss it, and I didn't miss it there. 
So now I'm back over here and I will be taking this path. Now my current record has tons of problems. I don't know how it ended up beating my previous run or previous record uh, for getting to Metro Kingdom because that one was like super good. It had like no problems other than like a few things that I didn't think of. I missed the moon there. Uh, so that was something that I did. Uh, so that was one of the issues with my current record, the 35 minute one. Uh, the other one's a 36 minute one, uh, except I missed the other moon. Kind of useless long jump. Nice. Kind of hard for me to see at the angle I'm at. Slow movement, time loss. All right, yeah, I was saying that uh, some other moons that like took a while are in this kingdom. It was just like Sand Kingdom, Lake, and Wooded with problems. I gotta be here at a very specific speed so then the bird will be there. And I've been going a bit slow. Anyway, the bird one, I went in like a circle. And then the top of a dune took many tries, although I skipped it this time. I actually forgot the Lake Kingdom crate moon. I bonked on the crate and stuff. And then I just went straight to the boss and forgot to get it. So I ended up getting a timer challenge moon. That was probably like one of the worst moments of that run. So I guess it was a good thing that I kept it going. Anyway, there's some time lost. I got hit. If there's a checkpoint uh, like in your way uh, that's before a moon you're about to get and you've gotten hit before grabbing that checkpoint, you should grab that checkpoint so then you don't lose time gaining back that health. Go! This is what happened last time. I went in a circle. He's going in a circle, right? Where's the bird? I can't tell. Is that the bird? No, it isn't. It's just ice. Sounds nearby. Well, that is such a bad time loss. I guess I'll just get this moon. This is the moon that I get as a backup if I miss the bird moon. And this is the first time it's actually happened with the current bird strategy. Previously, I didn't know about that like bird being there, so I'd just get that anyway. Oh, I'm 16 minutes into this. All right, well, I better finish Lake Kingdom in like three. That's how it's supposed to work, right? Another thing about my Get to Metro Kingdom speedruns that I didn't think of until recently is that there's like a painting in Sand Kingdom that takes you to Metro Kingdom. I think it's faster. Uh, I didn't think of that, um, but then when I did think of it, I was like, oh, right, you can just do that. Well, anyway, I don't care because it doesn't count. You got to get to Metro Kingdom the right way, even though it's not an unintended game mechanic or anything. I missed this moon. Well, I just forgot it. This is one that I forget quite a bit. And I found a method, an order of getting moons, that means that I don't have to go into that glass dome thing. So, like, if I had to go in there for one moon, then that would be, like, you know, like, not that, like, meaningful with whatever moon I added to replace another one. But if I'm skipping the two moons that I'd normally get there, that's, like, really good because it means I don't have to go over there. Although in my current record, I, like, went down a bit because I forgot. I'm not gonna do that this time since I'm actively thinking about it. We shouldn't do those slow movements up. Okay. Intentional bonk. So, let's not do what I did last time. I think I might have died at this last time, maybe. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Something happened here. I think something really good happened and I died. I think my second attempt was fast. I don't know, I don't really remember. These runs are all kind of a blur because they all happened at about the same time and I didn't record any of them or anything, so. Okay, well, slow boss fight. Okay, well that was good.
see, that's me when I record these videos. I'm just like yawning in every single second for some reason. I don't know why, but whenever I make these videos, 99% of the time, it didn't happen last time I did it, but I just sound like this sometimes. At least I feel like this. The audio better be good after those tests I did. Because if it isn't, what am I going to do with this video? Almost 20 minutes in, so I'm not that far behind, I don't think. This video is making it seem like that my average run is a lot worse than it normally is. My average run doesn't have like 18,000 mistakes, but in this video, it's like the only things that are happening here and the only runs I'm talking about are ones that have big mistakes. Okay, Wooded Kingdom. We're about to get a shot moon. Do you hear something? What? This? That's something that just happens sometimes. Mm. Alright, let's not have something awful happen. The reason I've waited to tell you about the other two moons that took ages in that run is because I don't really remember the names of them and I'm about to get them. So I'll be able to tell you the names instead of just describing them like, oh yeah, that one where you climb up a tree with an uproot. So this one, I think I just fell and that was it, so... You know, that wasn't that bad. Atop the tall tree. I'm never gonna remember that. I literally forgot it while editing this video, so yeah. You know, I probably will. Reminds me of how in a video where I was playing Mario Party, um, that's it. yeah, that was the other one. That took so many tries because I like lost the uproot or something. Anyway, forgot this. And in the Mario Party video, I was playing the, whatever the crane one is. It was like some crane game mini game in Mario Party 1. And in that video, I said that like, I will never ever win this mini game. Well, I mean, as the one, I think is what it was. In the same video, I won that mini game. Uh, uh. You know, I was kind of hoping that, you know, these like speed run video ideas that I had thought of, such as this one would make me look good at Mario games. Uh, because, you know, like in the last video, I looked pretty bad at Mario games. But, uh, you know, I don't know about that. I'm just having bad movement. And I'm not resetting the run because I'm already so far into this that I don't care. The only way that I could possibly want to reset this run is if I spend like 10 minutes on something. Although, that probably won't happen, is I'll probably just give up or something. Unless it's something that's required. No! Come on! Be there for me! No! No! <laughs> Alright, so, here's an example of that checkpoint trick being useful. One of my runs that I didn't upload, because I just, like, you know, I'm bad at finishing editing things and stuff. And sometimes I finish editing them, and I'm like, meh, I'll upload it later. And then I just never do. Or, like, I do eventually with, like, the Spatua or whatever. But basically, at around this point, I was about 42 minutes into the run. The camera ran out of charge, and it stopped recording. Could you stop messing up my run? At least I didn't do the thing where I, you know, run away from the moon to go back to the moon. <sighs> I have to play so much Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I'd be fine with just doing one run. But then again, that would be a short video and it wouldn't be that interesting. So instead, we're having a video where I stare at awkward angles. I don't remember what I meant by any of that. Alright, don't miss the cycle! Didn't. Now, don't step on the P-switch. Bad idea because it, it's a waste of time. Don't step on that P-switch. Now, I also figured out how to do left side here. You can climb this? I didn't know you could grab onto that. Give me this uproot. No! I was almost done with Wood Kingdom. And I said Wood Kingdom. It's hard to get back onto this after getting that moon because, you know, stopping to get that moon with the slow uproot, you know, it takes quite a bit of time. Alright, will I get the perfect Stewart fight? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's like a 50-50. Okay, well, you know, maybe I get it less than 50% of the time. 
but I still get it quite a bit. And I'm also gonna have to do it in luncheon too. So far, I'm doing it. I did it. It was a guaranteed thing. There's no way I messed this part up. Told you. Here, I'll bring over Luigi again since, you know, it's just a cutscene. What am I into the run? Uh, um, I have to do math during the run because 31 minus three. I'm almost 28 minutes into the run. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm also comparing it to like my previous runs, not like the normal game speed run. It take, I think they can get to Metro Kingdom without the painting thing uh, in slightly under 30 minutes. I can't, mainly because I'm not using the same like route and glitches and stuff. I'm not playing on the same version of the game. I think speedrunners usually play it on, like, the first release of the Japanese version or something. I was about to say, Kirby, shut up, we aren't going to Metro Kingdom. I meant Cappy. What's going on, hmm? Are we having a good run? I don't know. I don't think this is particularly great. I think this is, like, good, but not great. Hopefully we get a good Bowser fight, which I usually do, but not all the time. I went the other way. You ready to see something cool? No! Yeah, at least it felt cool, but now I have low battery on this Joy-Con. Well, this might be it. Maybe I'll just play until the Joy-Con runs out. Is it bad if a Joy-Con runs out of battery? What? Completely? I might just do a get to Metro Kingdom speed run and then I'll just continue the recording later. Unfortunately, I, I might do that. I mean, what happens if it runs out during a point where I can't like easily stop it? I don't know how bad this is. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to get a new get to Metro Kingdom record. You know, this run's been kind of sloppy, just like my current record. And my lost route, it's great but it's the same as in my record one, and I did it like really good there. So, just gotta get to the top like this, and do that. What? What was that? Sometimes I question if they're actively trying to delete the triple jump from the game as I'm recording the video. <laughs> what are you doing? And why am I laughing? This isn't funny. I'm really trying not to laugh. You know, this is the true try not to laugh challenge. This is definitely not a new record because I'm not getting it first try, but I did in my current record. What do you think of these kinds of videos? I haven't really asked this question much and your feedback, if it's negative, it's not really going to stop me from making these videos. I don't think anyone who hated this video would watch it for 23 minutes. I'm making this because I wanted to make it. And I'm uploading this because, well, why not? If most people hate the video, well, whatever. You know, maybe someone did like the video. And even if no one did, even if I didn't, it's still more content. That guy, that toad, he made the thumbnail of my first speedrun thing, I think. I don't know if I've already said this in the video, but I, I said a few weird things in that video when I rewatched it. Like, so I rewatched that video like, no, don't go over there. Uh, so I rewatched that video like two days ago or something. Uh, I didn't remember it being that bad, but there were a few weird things. I said a few things that made it seem like that I did some kind of like practice run before the video. I don't know, I don't really remember. I might have done that. But that was just based on the things I said. I couldn't really figure it out and I don't remember, so yeah. Am I going the wrong way? Of course I am. But, like, in Sand Kingdom, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to skip all of the moons and come back for them later. No wonder my first run was so bad. Like I said, I don't actually know if that was my first run, but whatever my first run was, it wouldn't have been much better. Over here, do not grab the checkpoint. We're doing something I like to call death strats. So, uh, first we gotta not die here, though. And I'm going to do something that might seem a little bit weird. Yep, I'm dying. Now why? 
All right, well, it's been a while. I think I'm just going to leave it at this and I'll continue it later. Whatever, it's gonna be good enough. It basically counts. I am 30, almost at 36 minutes into the run, so that's like not a new record. I got a 35 something. I don't remember what it was. Come on, 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 come on. 3617. I was exactly correct with 3617. Oh yeah, also, by the way, I don't know when I'm going to do this like full run thing, but at some point, probably, I don't know, maybe not that soon. I don't know.